Hi ladies and gentlemen, I hope everybody's doing good. Uh, I got a quick two for Tuesday for you, but before we get started, um, let's run over a couple quick points on the giveaway. Um, I talked to a few people in the UK, and um, I think Canada was the other one, but um, these knives are pretty much legal anywhere. It's the cutting edge that's always the issue. So I'll take the chance on sending them out um, no matter where, you know, whoever, whoever wins it. The first two, because I got two of these to give away, and this one, the, the Scout. So I imagine everyone would want to pick this one anyway because it's, it's a bit more pricier than this, and, I mean, the quality's a lot better. But uh, first and second place will get one of these, and then third place will get this one when I do the drawing. And if you want to see this a little bit more up close, I did a uh, short video on it last night, too, with the nice uh, Credence uh, Clearwater Revival tune, Green River. <clears throat> and this is the Clinch River. So, But anyway... Uh, yeah, let's get, because I got to get to the doctor's, I got a one o'clock appointment this afternoon. Uh, nothing serious, just some checking up on my neck and, uh, some other things, so. But anyway, two for Tuesday, scout knives. Um, this one here is a Camillus 5 tool. It's kind of rare. Um, and this was made... See, I got some notes here. The graphics department was hard at work this morning. This was made, this is the last Tang stamp for the Camillus brand before they went into bankruptcy. As you can see, it's the Camillus with the line over the top and bottom, New York, USA. And it's the official... Boy Scouts of America knife. But like I said, it's the five tool where the screwdriver is added in the Phillips and it's a straight um, straight deal there. Pretty cool. This is in really good shape, but the, the years for this tang stamp is 1989. Uh, 2007 when they went into bankruptcy they came out of bankruptcy in 2009 and that's when they started moving all their stuff to uh, or at least their assembly to uh, China I don't know if they had their headquarters here still but uh, yeah it's it's not real vintage but the, the cool thing about it is it's the 5 tool I don't know if they still make this pattern um, but you can find them on eBay and stuff. You get the screwdriver cap lifter. Can opener. And we've seen the screwdriver. And back here you got your punch. Do some leather work with that. It's got the chiseled edge, which is always cool. And it's just plastic handles. And there's the um, raised shield, the scout shield, the eagle. And I imagine this is stainless. Let's take a look at this up here again. Official Boy Scouts knife, or official knife of Boy Scouts of America. But yeah, I don't see any pitting starting or anything, so I imagine that's stainless. Really clean. Got this for a good deal, too, on eBay. Um... I think it was like 40 bucks and they, most of them you see they'll go for 70 80 so we got that one 
Now this one is really cool. The first time I seen one of these was on Hobie's channel. Um, God, Hobie, I don't know where you're at, man. We miss you. But the, he always came up with some good, uh, cool scout knives. And this is a um, Landers, Frary, and Clark. Uh, say that three times. We'll go over some of the stuff here that the graphics department printed out for me. Landers, Frary, and Clark was a housewares company based in New Britain, Connecticut. It operated from 19, or 1865 until its assets were sold to General Electric Company in 1965. They manufactured a wide variety of products over the years, including stainless steel bull nose rings, electric ranges, kitchen scales, vacuum bottles, window hardware, ice gates, mouse traps, percolators, can openers, corkscrews, cutlery, straight razors, aluminum cu uh, cookware, and thousands of other products. But I also found out that they made their pocket knives from 1912 to 1950. Um, and they didn't have a lot of different tank stamps, so it's hard to date them. So I'm going to go with my just my familiar air, um, with my knowledge of older knives. Um, this one here has brass liners. First, let's take a look at this cool shield here. Let's see if we magnify it, see what happens. And it's embossed and raised, but it's also quite detailed to give you a lot of shadowing. You see the trooper at the bottom, and you can see his scarf. And that's pretty sweet. I like that shield. Very unique. And this has the, um, I'm figuring this is 30s because it has uh, brass liners and steel pins. And that's when they were kind of transitioning to um, all brass. It was the 30s and the 40s. Um, if these pins were brass, I'd definitely say it was in the late 40s, close to 1950. Um, and you'll see 50 is when they stopped making pocket knives. And I'm not sure if they even made these in the house. They may have commissioned another company to make them. I didn't get that far in the research. But, um, and this, this will date it too a little bit. Maybe someone is familiar with the different years that the different styles of the can openers were made. And this is snappy. Half stop on the can opener. Little jiggle. Um, <clears throat> can opener, bottle opener, or uh, screwdriver bottle opener, cap lifter. And back here is your punch. You'll see LF and C USA, which was their most common stamp. And one of these has the model number on it. We'll get right to the main blade. LF and C USA. And here's your model number. 03862. You can see this one's got some pitting going on, but it is stainless. Um, I don't know if you can read this. It says universal stainless. Maybe if I turn the light off. Let me pause it real quick. All right. I can't shut the light off. <laughs> I am so tech naive. Um so anyway, there's a spear point, and if you look close, you can see it says Boy Trooper, um, and it has the trooper guy here, same as on the shield. 
and get that in there. Half stops, and I don't know if you guys heard how springy this punch is, but watch this. That baby snaps out. No lock, but as good today as it was the day it was made almost. So there you guys go. There's some vintage scouts. Well, this one's not so vintage. The, it has the three springs, the five tool. It's um, scout collectors go nuts for this one. So there you go. Until next time, my friends, take care. Peace. Bye-bye. And good luck on the drawing soon.